yeah, certain time for the evening. This was kind of last night, so it's but I'm Jamie. Twitter, email, they'll appear later. But uh, I went in a plane. It was great. It was the first time I was in a plane too. <laughs> so I'm going to talk a little bit about what Team Jump Fish did at GDC and at REST because we made the decision to do two things in a week and it nearly killed me. So who am I? I work at Junk Fish, Team Junk Fish, like I said. Uh, I have an official title that is basically Directors of Emails and Noise Making, which means I speak to everybody who do all the audio. And we're making a game. It's called Monstrum. It is a procedurally generated horror game that is aboard a scary abandoned cargo ship. And we got Greenlight not that long ago, but it doesn't mean that much anything because we're getting rid of it. It's fantastic. <laughs> but <laughs> we're also on Oculus, which is great because I'll show you later because people got really scared, which was fantastic. Here are some really impossible to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we went to GDC and so did this guy. This is my badger puppet. He will appear because I needed to like, sort of bulk up things. So, yeah. But why did we go to GDC? We kind of went because business possibilities, really. We, there was a few people there we wanted to speak to, so we set up meetings and we spoke to them, which was fantastic. So. A lot of people might see GDC as, like, if you're sort of a student especially, maybe this big fancy thing, all these games get announced, but it is more business orientated. So even though we were still sort of, oh, fancy, flashy games, we did try and get a few business things. So we spoke to a few sort of publishers about uh, distributors, that's the word, and things like that. And also some press, not as much press as we'd like, but we did speak to a few decent sized publications while we were there. Uh, everyone will be there. It's kind of scary when you walk past people like Peter Molyneux and the stairs and things like that. It's quite surreal, really. And there was cable cars in San Francisco, and that was really hard to take a photo of when you're moving in a thing that rattles around like Jesus. But yeah, so what went well when we were at GDC? Sorry, I'm speaking fast because it's time and it's supposed to be quick. Um, we got there, which was <laughs> super, super important. <laughs> when you arrive, San Francisco at 10 at night and you get lost for an hour in a place with straight roads, it's not great. I spoke to people, which is also great. Like I mentioned, we had press people and business people, uh, random people who we dragged over to play our game, which was quite nice when they seemed to be okay with it. And we even spoke to Scottish people, like Peter and Kate and everybody, because it's about the only time they start speaking to each other, apparently, I don't know. And the day off was quite nice as well. I told you there'd be badges everywhere. But what went wrong? The jet lag was a killer. We made the very, very poor decision to arrive the night before, which meant on the Wednesday we were dead, and thereafter we didn't really survive very well either. So we kind of missed a lot of the parties, which sucked a bit. Um, people skipped the meetings, which is kind of annoying. And probably one that annoyed us the most was the build was not what we'd really liked. A general thing for people who haven't done it, but I'm assuming quite a few people have, so more students is the build that you arrive with will never ever be the build that you leave with. This is a good thing to take a coder with, which we did. <laughs> but what was cool, Morpheus, as I sort of mentioned, we were building things for the Oculus, so we got a shot in the Morpheus as well, just abusing the developer privileges and jumping in a bit earlier. Uh, the coder that tried that seemed really impressed. She hadn't been like, sold in the Oculus, getting them right around. She found it quite nauseating, but she said when she tried this, she found it really fluid, she didn't feel dizzy or ill or anything. And stuff like the IGF, so that really dark picture is Towerfall, Towerfall, Towerfall Ascension, got that one right, which is a, a multiplayer brawl type thing, kind of similar to Smash Brothers, but really fast paced, really good. Uh, Extra Solar is really nice, it's a sort of browser based game, and it's about taking photos, it's like a really fancy version of Pokemon Snap if you want to play it with that, but it's free to play. <laughs> it's free to play, if you search Extra Solar on Google, it should come up and it's nice, you can just let it do it in the background. And also, there's well, somebody based in Scotland there, uh, by Michael Burrow, I think his name is, who had uh, 868 Hack and Corrupt, which is there. So that was kind of cool to see somebody from Scotland actually being recognised by the IGF. And would we go again? Sure. But not day four. And we'd like to go to talks because that seems to be where everybody goes. So it's a bit of a pain just wandering the for show floor and not trying to sneak in. And obviously, it was good to speak to a lot of random people, but we'd like to speak to more people. And there's another factor. So, yeah, uh, in between that and landing, we decided that we'd go to REST, which happened to be the week after GDC. 
So I think I had a whole two days to try and recover, which was pretty awful, because I went on a mega bus. Yeah. So EGX Res is more public facing, it's open to anybody who pays to get in, which means it's essentially a giant public protest for us, which was kind of cool. It has an indie focus, which means there's lots of indies, supposedly, and again, so we can have a GDC. Uh, but the indie focus is a little bit suspect when you have things like Square Enix and Sega pitching up tents there. So, yeah. But still, it's very cool to see what other people, mainly in the UK, are sort of doing. But like I said, lots of people really wanted to try an Oculus, so it's a good thing we could go. We, there were three games with an Oculus with them. One of them had to get their own little rope set up, and people noticed that we were kind of tucked away hidden behind a <coughs> body pillar and noticed they've got an Oculus too, so it was a good way to catch people, even if they didn't know who we were, but then they played the game and they were just like, that's actually really cool, which was nice. Another advantage was there was lots of press there with their magical white wristbands, which means we spoke to a lot of people, a lot of people who looked like they shouldn't be able to have a camera because they looked about 10, but it was still YouTube generation, I'm kind of old, but 25. <laughs> but they also have a habit of filming everything that kind of breaks when you're showing them, which is pretty terrible. But we did get lots of feedback, which is great. Very great, especially when they liked it. But as I may have mentioned, Sega were there and it's especially Creative Assembly, so we did take quite a few alien comparisons. A few of them were quite flattering. Uh, there was lots of cool stuff. We were next to another Scottish guy doing another horror game kind of, uh, called John, who's at CSR Studios. So he did, had a game, Dead Pictures 2, which was quite cool. Uh, it had to like, set up in sort of 80s decor and stuff like that. Um, Tiny Keep guys who we met there, they were quite nice. They got funded in Kickstarter and been doing quite well. Uh, Xylotex, uh, Byron used to work at Lionhead and a few other places and he's like this unity guru there. He's the guy that they sort of send out to teach and stuff. So we met with him, he was a really cool guy, really knows his stuff. And there was the Westfield collection as well, which I guess you could describe as a mini IGF. Uh, we spoke to a few guys there. Um, Alex did a game called Narcissus, which is kind of a little bit like uh, Love vs. Dub, if you ever played it last year's game jam, was it? Which is kind of cool, but it's uh, similar to that sort of thing. But yeah, lots of press, and through some mysterious way we got included in that. We were the, one of the few other games they enjoyed, not the game they show, because that was Alien. And we got all the interviews, while still being a bit ill. Whoops. So yeah, I may have kind of caused some conflict in some people which I regret nothing about. But would we all go again? Sure. But not right after something else, because that's a terrible idea. <laughs> and never in the body megaboss, because that's a worse idea. Like I said, it's quite tense. But yeah, that was my really rapid fire, kind of hacked together what we talk on, what we did at GDC and Res. I'm Jamie Cross, that's me on Twitter and my email. I'm part of Team Jumpfish, that's us. Thank you very much.